Okay, we are inserting an NG tube into our patient. So the first thing that I would have, do, would have done is checked my physician's order. So I'm gonna check that. Then I'm going to gather all my necessary supplies. So if I'm inserting an NG, I always wanna bring a towel. I wanna get a little basin, a small cup of ice for the client. I need a rubber band and safety pin to secure it at the end. I need a syringe to check my placement, the NG tube, lubricant to lubricate the end. We need tape to secure it and you need gloves, okay? So I go in my client's room. The first thing I do is wash my hands when I enter the room. Then I'm going to identify my client by two methods. I'm gonna ask them their name and their date of birth. Um, then I'm going to explain the procedure, exactly what we're doing, why we're doing it. I'm going to make sure I provide for privacy and close the curtains or the door. Um, so once I've done all that and uh, performed all my checks, then I'm going to, my assessments prior to is, I'm gonna ask for allergies, okay? Then I need to assess the patency of their nares so you would ask the client, or you can hold, hold one side of the nostril, have them breathe in, and then do the same thing on the other side. So I would use the nair that was less patent, which means the one they can't breathe out of as well. Okay, so we've checked that. We've got the, um, the patency. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back and pull this up a little bit because I know I'm gonna have to get to it in a minute. I'm gonna lay this across my client. I'm gonna go ahead and give them their cup of ice or water. You can do ice or water. Okay, and then we'll put the little basin right here. So now I'm going to determine the length of how far we need to insert the NG tube. All right, so I'm gonna take the tip. I'm gonna start, I'll do it here so you can see. We're gonna start at the tip of the nose. We're gonna go to the tip of the earlobe. We're gonna hold it here. And then I'm gonna go down and you'll feel, I'm gonna go down to where I can feel the xiphoid process. So you go to the tip of it and you mark. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of markers on these already, but you can either mark it with a Sharpie or you can get you a little piece of tape just to mark exactly how far you need to go, okay? All right, so now we've got it marked. All right, so now we are ready to um, insert the tube. So we're gonna lubricate the tip of the tube. All right, I'm gonna have this here in case we have any accidents. You can have your client to get some ice chips, chew it and swallow as you're doing this because this is not a very comfortable procedure. All right, so we're gonna tilt the head back. All right, now I'm gonna begin to insert. All right, so I tilt the head back, I start pushing, and soon as I get the gag reflex, then I wanna have my patient to tilt chin to chest, all right? Tell them to swallow, swallow, swallow. Keep pushing it as fast as you can, because like I say, this is uncomfortable. Swallow, swallow, okay? Now we're all the way to where our marker is. All right, so we should be where we need to be. So we're gonna check placement first, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of tape this right here just lightly, hopefully it'll stay, just to keep the tube in place while you verify placement, okay? So we don't want it to come out. All right, so to verify placement, you can do 10 
to 30 milliliters of air. So we're just gonna go with 20 milliliters of air, all right? All right, so I'm gonna place my stethoscope in the epigastrium area. Hopefully this would have a cap. You take the cap off, insert this. No, that came loose. We're going to push all in one motion, listening for the whooshing sound, okay? I hear, I heard it. So I'm going to pull back for stomach contents. Look at the color of it, make sure it's okay. You're gonna give it back to your client slowly, okay? Now I'm going to disconnect my syringe. This is when I would put my stopper back on here. Okay, so now that we know it's in the correct place, we are going to actually secure this to the patient. Uh, people tape in all kinds of ways. Right. So I always make a little strip like this. All right. So we're going to, this is gonna go on the top of the client's nose and then you can secure it. One on each side. Now, this mannequin does not like stick, does not like stick very well, but a patient, you shouldn't have that problem. Okay, so now we have it secured in place here. So my next placement is to secure it to the side of the cheek. Uh, <clears throat> normally I have my patient tilt their head. Okay, we can put it over here for just a minute. Now you want to secure it to the patient's gown. I like them to stay turned like that. So this you can do multiple ways. It just depends on however you like to do this, okay? So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna wrap this around, pull it like this. I'm gonna come around, we're gonna secure it. And you make sure with their head tilted that they have plenty of room, okay? So this one you don't actually have to have once you've secured it. That way when they turn their head, it's not pulling their gown if it's too tight. All right, so we verified placement, we've secured it. Now we are going to uh, always uh, ensure safety. We're gonna make sure our bed is down, make sure our side rails is up, our bed is locked. Um, and you can have the client stay in this position I'm going to wash my hands. I'm gonna dispose of all my hazardous material. I'm gonna go back and document appropriately. Of course, we always report any abnormalities and always document how the procedure went.